like us glory is not reflected in the present, but in the old time, the process continued to pursue to the perfection under the technical condition limitation at that era. And uh, they created a lot of first generation. Every first generation was fantastic. They made it only with one goal, more better. The pursuit ultimate even was not to consider the cost at that time. As the 28mm F2.8, the first generation, they finally used nine pieces of glass to make it. First generation Noctilux, the 15mm 1.2, F1.2, you know, the, uh, the later is 1.0, but the first generation is the 1.2. They handmade the aspherical glasses. That's amazing, which was Warder's first production aspherical camera lens. The first generation uh, Somicron 35 millimeter f2 they finally used uh, eight pieces of glass the very special glass so that the photo it taken um, so unique the japanese love this lens very much they even give it a name called um, hachimaitama uh, the means is um, eight jade but we usually call the eight element in the last video, I talked about the Leica M3. In this video, let's talk about the perfectly matched 35 lens for Leica M3, the Somicron 35mm f2 first generation A element goggles version. Um, first, let me tell a story. My friend is on a, a camera shop in Shanghai. He was sold a lens hood, aluminum Leica lens hood. The lens hood is mm, similar to the plant, which can be adjusted mm, to control the flare. So that annoying flare becomes two uh, beautiful elements of the photo. The lens hood was handmade, ex exquisite work mm, before the World War II in Germany. Then, after the, the factory was destroyed by the Allied aircraft, then there were no more workers could make such things. There are only 15 lens hood has been made in total. The lens hood was sold for about $20,000. From this story, it is easy to find the interesting Leica thinkings. Like this lens hood, the flare is annoying, but it is also an atmosphere. Can we make the flare become to an element of the beautiful image? So there is such lens hood. The M3 viewfinder is the best viewfinder like I ever made, especially when using 15mm lens. No consideration was given much in the wide angle lenses. So for the M3 to use 35mm lens perfectly, Leica has added a goggles, a air. Uh, to the first generation Micron 35mm f2 lens. It can reduce the image, let the original 15mm frame line become to 35. That's amazing. So that the M3 used the 35mm lens perfectly. Then there is this lens, the Micron 35mm f2 first generation goggles vision. Actually, not only the 35 f2 lens have the goggles vision, also the 35 f2.8, 35 3.5, even the 35 1.4 lens 
they all have the goggles vision. For with goggles and uh, without goggles vision, they all use the same excellent optics. The lens is very beautiful. Aluminum alloy makes it lightweight, but its processing accuracy and the chrome plating process are high level. There is an infinity lock. As you turn the ring to infinity, it locks. To release, press in the tab as you focus. It works automatically. When you press to release it and turn the focusing ring move, then that's a dream. Smooth and slippery even after 50 years. That kind of pleasure I have never experienced in any other lenses. The A-Element lens is a fantastically sharp lens from like a most glorious era. When used wide open, it has slightly less contrast at f2, but still sharp feels so much better than the today's lenses. It performs a solid feel of the image with rich tone detail that is most unique, like the painter's sketching and the processing of the reality he sees. Viewing the black and white film photo taken by a element on a large screen, as you look in classic and beautiful sketch painting, Many people said the A-Element lens can make the dark part of the image have more detail. Yes, but uh, these are common feature of the all Leica lenses. In the last video, I has mentioned that my teacher, uh, who was a Leica user, uh, he also said something interesting about the Leica lenses. He said that if you using the Leica lens to take a portrait of a girl, the skin tone will look more detailed and smooth, even better than the true. Because the other lens can't tell the tiny difference of the detail, but uh, the Leica lens can. Another my biggest experience with the A-Element lens uh, is the performance of images white part. When you get overexposure using A element shooting black and white film, the bright part of the image will not lose the detail. It looks like the detail or bright tone being hold. See the bright part of this photo. I was use A element lens and a Kodak double X film. Uh, with overexposure one or two stop to take. The bright tone is shown in the uh, white part with a little bit of glow. Very beautiful and unique. They called Leica Glow. This feature is also found in other Leica older lenses such as the famous Leica Glow lens, the 35 f1.4 Pre-A. Maybe do another video to talk but it is different from a element and in the low light environment the performance of the a element is another beauty soft plentiful and rich in flavor the color show of the a element is also very special a bit of out of reality, I think. When using color negative film, the color is very beautiful. Unlike the modern lenses, the a little bit uh, closer to the French impressionist painting, I think. One time I went to see a photography show. It was uh, Kimura Ihei shoot Paris in the 1950s and he was used the first Fuji color negative. When looking at his beautiful color works, I reacted in surprise was did Kimura Ihei was used like an A-element lens? 
The Goggles Vision A element is the first generation. The closest for cruising distance is 0.65 meters, which is closer than the later without Goggles Vision's uh, 0.7 meters. So the Goggles Vision A element lens is perfectly matched uh, like a M3. Also, it is half price from the without Goggles Vision. One thing I don't understood about the viewfinder with the goggles vision. This is the goggles version on the M3, only the image has reduced. But the frame line without changing the position. That's nice. Now put the goggles version on the Leica M6, the 0.72 magnification. It can be seen that the image with the 35mm frame line reduced together. What's the principle? But this can bring another benefit for me, that I can easily see the 35 frame line uh, when I'm we wearing uh, sunglasses in the summer using the Leica M6. You know the Leica never have a high point of view like Nikon. Oddly, the collectors pay thousands of dollars for this. They not realize that the goggles vision above actually work better on today's camera, even digital Leica M, because it focuses more closely and has a better size finder view. So can I remove the goggles? and use it after buying the cheaper goggles vision. That will be impossible on the Leica M camera. It will not be used rangefinder to focus uh, accurately. But if you mount your goggles vision lens to a mirrorless digital camera that doesn't require rangefinder focusing, you can remove the goggles just to take off two screws. And same as the old Leica lenses, the A element flare control is not good. You must have a lens hood like this. However, even when using a lens hood, it is often affected by flare. Sometimes you don't even know how it happened. The A element lens are uh, a little bit expensive in the second hand market. The price of the goggles vision is about uh, uh, $1,500 a few years ago, but now it has up to about $2,100. The without goggles vision A element lens is twice price of the goggles vision. But nothing can stop Leica fans from following it because it is so unique. It is a limited of high quality lenses left over from Leica's glorious era. Many people think it is the best lens in Leica history. Me too. Alright, that's all. Mm. This is my first time speak English in video. It is hard. I hope you like it. Uh, that's my pleasure. And don't forget to subscribe to me. And uh, you can discuss the below. Thanks for watching. See you.